Well, the twists just keep on coming in the scandal that led CIA Director David Petraeus to step down. And today, there was this stunning new turn that now the top general in Afghanistan is feeling the unwelcome glare of the spotlight. At the center of it all, a Tampa socialite named Jill Kelly. And ABC's Brian Ross has set out to discover who this woman really is, who's helped unravel the careers of one of the most powerful men in America. Her detractors are harsh, saying 37-year-old Jill Kelly of Tampa is nothing more than a name-dropping, social-climbing, bored socialite. But in the course of only a few days, two of the most powerful men in America have been surrounded by scandal because of actions she has taken, sending shockwaves all the way to the White House. Well, I certainly, uh, I think, wouldn't call it welcome. First, it was CIA Director David Petraeus, and now it is General John Allen, running the war in Afghanistan. Together, a devastating blow to a country at war. Anything that takes your eye off the ball is a distraction, uh, and it will have some effect. Mrs. Kelly, how are you doing? Jill? Officials say it all started early this summer, when Kelly received anonymous emails accusing her of flaunting a friendly relationship with military brass in Tampa. She called the FBI, which traced those emails back to the computer of Paula Broadwell, where they discovered the evidence of Broadwell's affair with Petraeus. Broadwell, seen tonight at her brother's home in Washington, sipping wine and having dinner, has admitted her affair with Petraeus, but has not commented on the emails she allegedly sent to the other woman, Jill Kelly. But there's even more. ABC News has learned that General Allen also received an anonymous email traced to Paula Broadwell, claiming Jill Kelly was a seductress. A further look by the FBI into Kelly's emails revealed hundreds between Kelly and Allen, 20 to 30,000 pages of communication in all. Secretary of Defense Leon Panetta has put General Allen's promotion to NATO Supreme Commander on hold and ordered a full investigation of the Allen-Kelly relationship. Today, the Secretary directed that the matter be referred to the Inspector General of the Department of Defense for investigation. Jill Kelly spent the day at her home in Tampa, not answering questions. In the background, a television could be seen with news coverage of the Peyton Place-like military sex scandal that focused attention on who she is and how she ended up in the middle of it all. The license plate on Kelly's Mercedes-Benz shows she is an honorary counsel for South Korea. Hi, um, this is Jill Kelly. And in 911 phone calls, Kelly told the dispatcher that she deserved protection from the media outside because of that. Because I'm an honorary counsel general, so I have inviolability, so um, I should, they should not be able to cross my property. I don't know if you want to get diplomatic uh, protection involved as well, but now they because that's against a lot of cross my property since this is now like, you know, um, it's inviolable. Kelly lives near McDill Air Force Base in Tampa the home of the U.S. Central Command and the Special Operations Command, a place where access is closely guarded. Yet she had easy access to the country's most powerful general stationed there, according to a friend who was also editor of the Tampa Bay Magazine, Aaron Fodeman. Jill is known as a gracious hostess, a vivacious individual. This picture was taken two years ago at a party at the Kelly home, showing Jill's twin sister, Natalie, General Petraeus, Jill's husband, Scott, Jill, and the general's wife, Holly. There's no question they were friends, and no, no reason why they wouldn't be friends. But despite all her lavish entertaining, court documents reviewed by ABC News show that Jill Kelly and her husband have been sued at least nine times and face foreclosure on their home. The Kelly home also served as the office for a charity she and her husband, a doctor, once set up for cancer victims, which spent tens of thousands of dollars on travel, meals, and entertainment. Kelly's twin sister, Natalie, has her own legal and financial problems and lost custody of her son in a contentious divorce proceeding in which both Petraeus, as head of the CIA, and General Allen, running the war in Afghanistan, wrote letters on her behalf. Dr. Petraeus, can you talk about this, please? All of it has raised lots of questions about the two generals and their connections to the Tampa housewife. But at least in the case of General Allen, he has strongly denied anything inappropriate. So far, the White House and his fellow generals say they believe Allen. I believe John Allen until somebody proves otherwise. Uh, I believe that he did nothing inappropriate. As for Jill Kelly, while she wasn't talking, 
She certainly wasn't hiding from cameras outside her house today. Her brother told us she has nothing to hide. She's very dedicated to her, to her husband and to her kids. For anybody to paint her other than that is completely wrong. Even so, Jill Kelly has now hired one of Washington's top criminal defense lawyers, Abby Lowell, who defended former Senator John Edwards. And she even has a publicist, the same one who handled the media for former White House intern Monica Lewinsky.